glad to have you back again on tutorial hopes where we teach you how you can use your smartphone productively so on today's video i want to show you how you can run sponsor ads on facebook i want to show you how you can place an advert on facebook using your smartphone so but before we proceed further if you have not subscribed to my channel just go ahead now you can pause the video hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that you're notified when we drop new videos okay now to run ads on facebook you really need to have an application called meta ads this is the application here you can you go to play store or you go to apple store for iphone users to download it's available for both android users and, and ios users okay so this application was actually designed for small business owners who might not have a personal pc or a laptop personal pc yes your personal PC or a laptop to run ads. So this application is available for Android users, iPhone users. You can use it to place an advert on Facebook. So go to your Play Store or Apple Store and download and you can come. When you install it, you just tap on it to open. I just give you a few seconds to load so I will explain the things, everything here in details. Okay. So if you have not used this application before to run ads on Facebook, this is what you will not see things like this. So don't be confused. All right. You won't see anything like this. So you just see it blank. This plus icon here by the top right hand corner will be in the middle of your screen. So these are already ads I've I just run some few days ago, some time ago actually. Now you will see everything blank now the first thing you will have to do when you open this application is to sign up with a facebook account the facebook account you want to use to run this ads you sign up with it it's very important and make sure the facebook account you want to use to open to run the ad has a facebook page i hope you understand the difference between the facebook page and the facebook account okay so the account you want to use to run the ad must have a facebook page is very important then what you are done you just tap on this plus sign here by the right hand corner like i told you earlier yours will be on the middle of the screen if you have not used this application before to run so you just tap on it you tap on it and wait for it to load for a while then it will bring out an interface like this it says what is your marketing objective what is the purpose of you running this ad is it for post engagement get more people to see and engage with your post video views promote your videos to get people's attention website traffic send more people to your website which show your ads to maximum number of people messages get more people to message you in messenger whatsapp or instagram page like get more people to see and engage with your page okay so what is the aim of you running this ad so we are going to use website traffic now each of these options have their own purpose so we we are going to use website traffic and the purpose of website traffic is to send more people to our website it can be a whatsapp group it can be a, a, a telegram page or it can be any website maybe your landing page also but you must make sure to have a backup link before you can be able to use website traffic so when you have decided on which uh format or pattern you want to use you can just go ahead so now we are going to use website traffic you tap on website traffic just give you a few seconds to load again okay. okay so now from here it will take you to where you will select an image okay you will take you to where you select an image so the image you are going to use now you must make sure that image has already been uploaded on your page that you are running the ads because from there facebook will automatically select but if you don't like it you still have the privilege to change it so to change it and an icon will show i will show you there how you can do it okay say so move image to crop scale so you're not going to do all that you're just going to leave it the way it is let's wait for it to load. It's still loading it's an image for all placement except story art okay so let's just wait for it to load still loading the network is quite slow so we we'll just wait for it now move image to crop, crop and okay now it's done so now if the image the facebook select for you is not your preferred image you can tap on this icon that says change image you tap on it it's below your screen here i don't want to touch the screen because of one or two reasons you tap on change image and it will change okay then now the next one you go down look below your screen here there's a four icon below your screen here you tap on the next one next one with a pen on it you tap on it Let's give a few seconds to load so we explain the next thing. 
due to the network so we just have to bear everything all right now say stories placement now there are certain things you just have to leave them the way they are and the most important thing you need to change i'm going to show you one you have to change your your headlines one two your primary text three your web address and four your call to action button so these are the essential thing you will change here now let's change our headline let's change our headline let's say get this video get this videos get these videos for just let's say just 1k okay get these videos for just 1k All right now the next one here is your primary text your primary text is where you you put your copy your sales copy for the product or for the services and it is always advisable you always write something engaging yes something compelling persuasive all right so if you don't know how to write a sales copy or you don't know how to do copywriting always always as outsource someone who can do that for you you can go to fiverr.com you can go to upward.com or you just search any freelancing platform and find a copywriter who can do it for an affordable price for you and you go ahead to do it it's very important because how converting or how yes how converting your art to be is depending on how converting your sales copy is so if you have a great product make sure you have a great sales copy for that product or i'll give you another strategy again now we have a chat gpt you can just go to chat.openai.com and sign up use there and create a converting sales copy for your product it's very easy just go to chat.openai.com and you can generate a sales copy there for yourself okay that's just an added benefit for you watching my video now now add text so let's use get this video or let's say let's say this guide will help you help you make more sales okay will help you make more sales then you can come down and write as many words as you want but make sure there are always compelling words i'm just going to put down anything then the next one here is web address your web address like i told you it can be a whatsapp link it can be your landing page it can be a telegram link but make sure you have a web address okay make sure you have a web address is very important so if someone click the link it will lead them or direct them to where they can have access to what you are trying to promote so just wait for it the network is that bad so that's why it's slow Right, so now you just go ahead and write your web address so i'm just going to use my free website that i'm using let's go to put a free website here all right chris online bees.com dot blogspot dot blogspot sorry dot com okay so this is going to be our web address now the next one here is a call to action button shop now book now so when someone click on this call to action button it will direct them to maybe your your landing page or to your yes your landing page now shop now book now listing now learn more so we are going to use learn more sign up download watch more apply now get codes donate and subscribe and the rest so you just you have only one option to choose so we are going to leave it and learn more okay so you just leave it there learn more there are certain things you don't need to leave the way they are like special arts category leave it the way it is all right then now you tap on the next icon here the next icon below your screen the one that has people 
uh, the image of uh, humans, all right? So it will bring you here now, who should see your art? Very important, who should see your art? So you go ahead to set your audience. You can edit them or you just leave them the way they are. No, you must really edit them if you're using it for the first time. You have to edit them. So I'm just going to choose an audience here or let me edit them for you to see. So you tap on edit audience. Tap on edit audience. Few seconds. All right. So it will bring you here. Now include this location. So let's choose first our location. So I'm in Nigeria here. I'm, I just want to reach out to people in Nigeria. All right. So I'll edit it and I would have to delete the United States. I just want to reach out to people in Nigeria here. So let me remove this first. All right. Then let me search now for Nigeria. Nigeria country. All right, then I tap on the check mark. Then you can select the age bracket you want to use 18 to, let's say 18 to 52. Let's just leave it or to 36, okay? Then gender, all gender, both male and female. So now there are certain things you, you really need to leave the way they are. Like I told you earlier, details target include people who match, exclude people. So just leave them the way it is here. Performance may be impacted. Your audience is defined and has an estimated audience size of 24 million to 28 million. So this, your ad is estimated to reach 24 to 28 million people. Okay. Then you tap on the check mark at the right hand corner of your screen. Then you tap on, let me use update existing audience. I want to update mine. Tap on update. Tap on update. Okay. So my audience have been set. Then the next one, now you tap on the cart. The next one here, where you have to put your budget and schedule. Now, how do you want this ad to run? Is it daily or lifetime? So we're going to leave it at daily. So the amount you will be charged per day is 995 Naira per day. If you're a Nigerian, it's 995 Naira per day. So you can uh, estimate that to your own currency, depending on the nation you are. Right, so for Nigerian, this is 995 Naira, that's one dollar and all right, 995 Naira per day. Now, how do you want schedule start now or start letter? So you can schedule this ad to run maybe later, or you can should schedule it to run even now. So we are going to leave it at start now, okay? So we're going to leave it at start now. Sorry. Right, back. Sorry for the convenience. So we're gonna leave it at start now. Okay. Then when you are done, you select how many days you want it to run. You tap on the plus sign and or the minus sign. So you select the day you want it to run. Then you tap on this check mark if you are done here. And it will take you to where you will put your payment details. But you can uh, I always advise that you 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 always go to your setting and add funds before you can go ahead to run this ad. Or maybe I'm, I'm going to show you how to add funds. I'm going to show you how to add funds. Let's just wait for it to load. Right. Now here you just have to review your order. Right, so here you review but now one thing you should understand about uh facebook ads that they don't really show this ad on facebook they also show it on uh, instagram also and some other platforms also all right so your ad will be shown to other platform not only facebook okay there are other about two or three platforms so so you can place order if you have already found your account but if you have not found your account you can tap place order and the ad will be previewed before it will be published. So let me show you how you can fund your account. So you let's save this one here. Save to drive. Let's save to drive. So we are going to go back to our welcome screen. Let me show you how you can fund your account. All right. So now to fund your account, you just come to settings. 
You tap on settings. You tap on settings. Then you tap on payment. Tap on payment. Then you tap on add form. Okay. You tap on add form. All right. So you choose uh, Naira payment with Mastercard. Naira payment with Mastercard. Tap on it. Then tap on add form. Just give it a few seconds to load again. Then you select how much you want to use. You want to run this ad. Sorry, I went too fast. But make sure you always choose how at the amount you want to use to run this ad before you tap on add form. I made a mistake. Sorry. Then it will lead you to where you put your card details and the rest, and you just tap on pay. So. When you come here, you put your card details and everything. And when you are done, you tap on, you tap on pay four thousand, or depending on the amount you put to run this ad. So that is how to run ads on Facebook. And that will be all for this video now. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please just go ahead, hit the subscribe button, and also turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified when we drop new videos. That will be all for now. See you in subsequent video. Thank you.